We will finish with the last. It's not a presentation, it's rather a project. Barcelona Media. They want to propose something in terms of transmedia. Uh, Santi Fort will speak to us. 30 years of professional experience in the generation of audiovisual content with digital media. Currently divides his time between working on innovation projects at the Barcelona Media Foundation, teaching postgraduate uh, students at UPF, and disseminating artistic creation and technology in Art Futura Festival. Last speaker, very brief presentation, and we say goodbye. And we'll have a drink and chat and watch documentaries. Thank you, Santi. I will be very quick, not because Arnau told me they're going to kick me out, but rather because I have to say just a, f a few things. What is uh, your transmedia? It's a project from transmedia, so in the interdox environment, it seems it might fit in, mm, but we think uh, interactive documentaries also fit in with the transmedia production, and I think we can also collaborate in one way or another. Your Transmedia is a collaboration a project from different uh, companies from different regions in Europe with the aim of facilitating the life of producers and distributors of transmedia content. Every time I say transmedia, I hope you all feel you, you know or you feel related to it. Barcelona Media, uh, we are changing to Euracat, which is a merger of technological centers. And in any case, who is Eurotransmedia? We are six regions in Europe. We have uh, one in Sweden, Belgium, two groups in France, one in Catalonia, one in Estonia. We have uh, a grant from the European Commission, and we also have a group of international experts who give us a strategic vision. Why this presentation? Not to say we have money or, or we want money. No, we want to find people who want to participate in the project. I'll tell you what it is we work in for those of you interested. There is room for participation, and the other one is to help ask for help to have a better uh, guidance on how to go about with our activities. How do we want to help the transmedia industry? Developing tools that could improve production, distribution, trying to improve value chains, trying to find business models which can help better uh, fund uh, the productions. It's a very small slide and years go by. Uh, how are we doing this? First we've had a phase seeing what requirements were needed, not just in Catalonia, also in the different European regions. When I speak of we, uh, you shouldn't think of uh, Eurocat or Barcelona Media, but rather the whole of the European Consortium. It's a group of about 20 people uh, spread through all these countries I mentioned. We also are looking for other groups who could help us beyond the ones that we had in the proposal originally, and starting to develop activities on our own. During this previous period of study, we created a vision document, a strategic research agenda, and a joint activity plan. And this is where we will deal with what we will do in the next 14, 15 months. We are going to launch a proposal 
uh, for the financing of these projects at a European level. Now we're speaking with the different uh, stakeholders, uh, the different agencies that can help such research projects to convince them of the interest we have. Uh, the Swedes, the French and the Belgians are convinced. We have to speak with other countries to see if they want to work on these uh, collaborative projects. I suppose you work, you know how these European collaborative projects work. Uh, at a European level, it's, it's going to be a call for proposals, as I described. We are going to, I suppose after this summer, we will have a platform for matchmaking um, so that people, you know, so that people can uh, um, register their projects, uh, and they can be financed by um, financing uh, or uh, sources. And I'm sorry I'm speaking so quickly, but uh, we're going to get kicked out very soon. We've also started a process to look for business beyond the European borders we have. Uh, partners in Canada and Brazil to uh, help projects that are already uh, done abroad or to foster projects in Europe. We're open to other countries. The other day I was told that from Argentina we might see collaborations. So within this plan, looking for ways of helping our production European transmedia production, uh, the idea is to make their lives easy to produce uh, their projects. We are also working on a report, possible financing sources. It's no more than uh, gathering all the open calls for the production of contents and technologies that could uh, have to do with transmedia production uh, that would include production of video games, of um, advanced internet content. But in the end, it's platforms and tools that could help it easier to produce new transmedia products, as always, including interactive documentaries. There's also a report being worked on for future business models, transmedia business models. It sounds like a little optimistic, but what we're trying to do is identify business models that were successful somewhere and to see how applicable would they be elsewhere. It's a, the typical innovation process, across in innovation process, something that worked uh, promoting a game might not use that to promote, you know, other sorts of contents or between different regions in Europe or different areas in the world, which is not so easy, but it's another of the possibilities we have in the project. Mentoring activities refers to teaching people how to uh, do these processes on their, on their own. It was all... Uh, that uh, was originated in Estonia. Uh, they didn't feel they were experienced enough. They asked for help uh, in Sweden because they thought that they were more experienced. They also asked the Belgians who had uh, experience in uh, cooperation among companies and they said, why don't you help us uh, starting this and that resulted in the fact that we saw that these internationalization methodologies, looking for collaboration, uh, looking for innovative uh, funding systems, were not just uh, applicable for Estonia, but other regions as well. So that generated uh, like um, the an intention of gathering all these methodologies and um, the best practices and the solution for the whole process. And there are a set of projects that once we have created the consortium, we saw we could carry out with more than one partner. There's an extensive list here, projects for which every um, 
partner is looking for their own financing. It doesn't. It's not done with the project's money, ideas from the project, but that need additional fund. As I said, what am I doing in this presentation? I'm looking for people who want to know more about the project to see if they uh, can help with ideas or if they want to participate in any of the developments of they want to be just aware of any possibility of internationalization or whatever the Euro Transmedia project could offer to any producer or screenwriter, developer, whoever. That's why in all the slides I put my email just to ensure that we have the chance to contact, that you can contact me. In any case, I will leave business cards in the uh, registration desk in case you're interested. I tried to be as quick as I could.